What Happens Next in Israel, Part 13. Israel will once again have control of Oban, or Greater Israel, and Haaretz, Israel, from the river of Egypt unto the Great River, the River Euphrates, Genesis 15:18. The EU may offer them aid in rebuilding after the devastation of the Russian Islamic armies and the hand of God. Will pull on Israel, all the people of Israel know that from 1917 to 1967 to 2017 to the coalition invasion that Hashem has made a way for them in the worst of times after the miracles Hashem did for Moshe, Moses in Egypt, and making a way through Yom Sok, the Red Sea, Am Yisrael should have known that Hashem would be there to help. Sadly, this was not what many in Am Yisrael thought then. It is not what many secular Israelis think now. It will not be what many Israelis will think after Hashem's miraculous defeat of the vast Russian Islamic invading coalition. Israel forgot Hashem and went for deceptions like the golden calf many times in the past, and many will be deceived again. The Bao Jews have marble cornerstones for the third temple and prepare now for the sacrificing of animals in it. Israel prepares priests for Jerusalem's third temple. After lessons, the real thing will start the simulation of the Passover sacrifice. If let the animals live, protest sacrifice is with Israel now, PETA, etc., will be horrified when it takes place in the third temple every day. The altar built by the Temple Institute to be used in service in the rebuilt Third Jewish Temple. But there's opposition. Let the animals live is threatening to take legal action to prevent the Jewish Temple movement from carrying out an educational demonstration of the Pesach Passover. The group sees the planned sacrifice as an act of animal cruelty. The government also is not in favor of it and worried about Muslim uh, violence. They receive Palestinian protesters on the Temple Mount. Arab women's chain mob keep Jews off the Temple Mount. We have seen this where a police officer advised Jewish worshippers not to bother to approach the Mount, citing that the Arabs might riot. It was not worth a move toward the mount. Apparently, quiet is more important for the police than ensuring our rights. Matam added. Temple Mount and Land of Israel Faithful Movement. Dark clouds coming from east and north threaten to cover Israel and the entire world. Build immediately my holy temple before the darkness and inhuman evil completely covers the life of all mankind. Only when the God of Israel dwells in the third holy temple in Jerusalem will evil be defeated and will real peace come to the entire world. Gershom calls on Israel to worship on the Temple Mount and not on the Western Wall. Gershom warned Israel and its leadership that as long as the shameful situation on the Temple Mount continues, and as long as they do not obey the call of God, peace will not come to the land. The enemies of Israel will continue to desire her land and will pressure those in power to divide it. Obedience to the call of God will bring peace. All of Israel's enemies will be removed and no one will wish to divide or desire the land. Then Israel will dwell in the promised land 
among the boundaries that God promised. In Genesis 15, 18. Muslims have Mecca. Catholics have Rome. We both have desired Jerusalem, the internal capital of Israel. Daniel 7.11 mentions a beast. Daniel 9.27 mentions someone who will break the seven-year covenant by causing sacrifice and oblation to cease after three and a half years and make the temple for the sacrifice desolate because of the overspreading of abominations. This little horn, which is another name for this beast, will speak great things and overcome the saints for a time, times, and half a time, or three and a half years. It is all about the Temple Mount. He shall exalt himself and magnify himself above every god and shall speak marvelous things against the god of gods. Daniel 11, 36. Neither shall he regard the god of his fathers nor the desire of women or any god, for he shall magnify himself above all. Daniel eleven thirty seven. Some say he will be an asexual narcissist or a homosexual. He may be at least part Hebrew. Jewish Encyclopedia Armelus is a king who will arise at the end of time against the Messiah and will be conquered by him after having brought much distress upon Israel. Correspondingly, there is the Muslim end of time Dajjal. He will first claim to be a prophet and then a god. Many people, Muslims included, will be led astray by his lies. Woe to the idle shepherd that leaveth the flock. The sword shall be upon his arm and upon his right eye. His arm shall be clean dried up, and his right eye shall be utterly darkened. Zechariah 11:17. The idle shepherd is the false shepherd or false Moshiach. Odin, Norse chief of the gods, had only one left eye. The one eye thing is probably with more than one meaning. It dates back to the Egyptian religion and the eye of Aris. Why the singular eye? The evil eye, again, hara, is often defined as the ability to bring about evil results by a malicious gaze. In most cultures, the belief is prevalent that some human beings have the power of sending destructive rays, so to speak, in order to cause those of whom they are envious or otherwise dislike trouble. Eat thou not the bread of him that hath an evil eye, neither desire his dainty meats. Proverbs 23.6 This poster of Europa riding a beast is similar to the picture of the great whore. The Roman Jewish treaty was an agreement between Judas Maccabeus and the Roman Republic in 161 BC, according to 1 Maccabees 8, 1720, and Josephus. It was the first recorded contact between the Jewish people and the Romans. Roman Europe was, at first, an ally of the Jews. Rome became an enemy later. Judas Maccabeus had defeated the Greeks, and the Romans also defeated the Greeks. They had the same enemy. A great leader will rise over the European lands that once controlled the Roman interests in ancient times. 
Israel will be as impressed by him as Judas Maccabeus was by the power of the Romans of his day, the Neo-Roman leader will also make a treaty with Israel that will bring peace to them, the region, and the world for a short time, and the people, Roman, of the prince that shall come shall destroy the city, Jerusalem, and the sanctuary, the second temple, and he, the prince, who is the beast, little horn, shall confirm the covenant with many in the Middle East for one week, seven years. And in the midst of the week, three and a half years, he shall cause sacrifice and oblation to cease in the third temple of Israel. And for the overspreading of abominations, he shall make it desolate. He shall defile the temple, Daniel 9. A leader from Europe will distinguish himself in many battles with Muslims who attack Europe long before he makes the seven-year treaty with Israel secular. Israelis will go along with the treaty since they will feel that the leader can force peace on their neighbors and in regions beyond Israel. While the Balk Orthodox Jews will realize that the Lord himself protected Israel in the Ezekiel 38 invasion, there will be secular Israelis who will be war weary and desperate for peace at any price. We saw this in the land of the peace deal in Gaza, which ended up being a launching pad for rockets aimed at Israel. The beast will use his military record, vast resources, wit, and charm to win over Israelis in a PR campaign supported by the media of the world. Many in Israel will welcome the supposed friendship of the leader who will promise to protect them with European forces that were not part of the Ezekiel 38 invasion. Mark Labette is the beast because he's a, a quiz show genius. Unlike Mark, the future world beast will be very well built. The beast, how strange. Barack Obama's armored vehicle, known as the Beast, with the bunkers on wheels. I'm not stating that Obama is the Beast. The little horn of Daniel. The Rocky tank dubbed the Beast. It's not a battlefield terror. This is just more verbal conditioning for people for the introduction of the Beast. U.S. unleashing the Beast in ancient Babylon. Recall the years before 2000. You'll well, remember that if someone was called a beast, it was not a compliment. However, as we approach the year 2000, the term beast began to take on a new meaning. I heard a young man boast that he was a beast at the game of chess. Later, the term was used to describe someone's prowess, skill, or ability in any activity. The Muslim Jal is said to be powerfully built. The ad here for Monster Energy Drinks said, unleash the beats to the right of the driver. Another ad says, unleash the beats. Why are there three very similar green marks on all of the cans of these energy drinks? The Muslim Dajjal is said to be restrained on an island until he is unleashed. This Dajjal is identified as the beast in Daniel and Revelation. The marks look very much like the Hebrew letter Vav. Do not just take our word for it. Look at the Hebrew alphabet. We may be near to the time when a strong world leader will be referred to as the beast, whose body is given unto the flame. Daniel 7:11. The 
value of Vav in Hebrew is 6. Look at Vav below. Militarily, who can stand against him? He's fantastic. He's so handsome and charming. I just love him. He's like a god. The great majority of the religions of the world will unite with the beast because they ignore the Tanakh. The Buddhists are looking for Maitreya, who will provide salvation during a time of misery. The Taoists are looking for the coming of the Savior, Li Hong. Hindus are looking for the coming of Kalki, the destroyer of darkness. Zoroastrians are looking for the coming of the man of peace, who will battle the forces of evil. Rastafarians are looking for the return of Haile Selassie. Christians are looking for the return of Jesus the Christ. Muslims are looking for the return of Isa ibn Maryam, Almash, or in English, Jesus the son of Mary to kill the job, the false messiah, and become a just king of the world. Jews are looking for Moshe, son of David, who will rule the world in peace. Unlike other faiths, Abrahamic religions of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam write of a false messiah. The title beast is used in the English translation of Hebrew, the book of Daniel, and English translation of Greek, Book of Revelation. The European based beast and his forces will fill the power vacuum after the destruction of the Arab armies and then Russian Islamic armies. He may send aid to the Israelis. Israel should know that in the wars of Psalm 83 and Ezekiel 38 they were saved by the Lord, but they will fall for the aid and feigned friendship of the beast, who will promise them peace and safety while they worship on the Temple Mount in a structure that will allow the Jewish temple with animal sacrifices. Muslims may also be allowed to worship on the Temple Mount by the beast. This may be part of the seven-year peace treaty that the beast will establish for the entire Middle East region. World media sources will proclaim him to be a man of peace and a great world leader who pacified the Middle East. Finally, we have peace and safety. Yes. Many in Israel want peace today and will be desperate for peace after the wars. Psalm 83 and Ezekiel 38. The beast will be the prince of the covenant. Daniel 11, 22. Those who are like the Jewish officers who told Jewish worshipers to leave our Habayit, Temple Mount, and the group let the animals live, care nothing about the passion expressed by the Temple Mount and Land of Israel faithful movement for the building of the Bait HaMikadash, Holy Temple, Amazing visitors will come to Yerushalayim. Who will they be? What will they do? Find out in What Happens Next in Israel, Part 14. For more information and ways you can help us to blow the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm, you may contact us. Hope of Israel at Tikva Yisrael by email at shaloma1335 at gmail.com. Ask for Shlomo. Um, Yisrael Kai. You may also like us on Facebook and comment on. Twitter and Tumblr.